Welcome, everyone, to the Tethers Shipyards. I am Takeshi Yamato, the Yardmaster, joining our host, the House Goat Gamer. Yo. Today, we are taking a look at the Columbia class starship. Basically, a, a motion picture era version of the NX class. It certainly looks the part. <laughs> Has the same design aesthetic. And the little gondola on the bottom is reminiscent of the NX refit. Something I wish was included on the Giorgio instead of that gaping deflector on the front. Yeah, fair enough. Easy way to replace the under gondola bridge, just put in another gondola with the deflector. Yeah. It would have fit. It would have been better. It would have been cleaner. Yep. So, anyway. According to the wiki, from what I... According to the wiki description, it's a replica reinterpretation of the NX class light escort as it might appear in the 2280s around the time of Star Trek 6 the undiscovered country meant to be a contemporary of the Miranda Oberth and Excelsior class ships so for a service date somewhere in there like 22 2280 2286. Alright, 2286. Right around the time of the Genesis crap. Yep. I figure this was probably a... I, this is probably like a, a new logistics craft with some... Expo, with, well, logistics and survey craft. This isn't meant for frontline exploration. There are bigger ships for that. But uh, it's meant to do surveys in systems within Federation territory and to ferry supplies, ferry supplies around. The same role as the Oberth, but with more guns. Yeah. Let's be honest, the Oberth is exceptionally lightly armed. Too lightly armed. Yeah. And I would say scale three again. It's the same size as the NX. Yep, and the NX was a scale three. The biggest ship of its time, uh, the biggest Earth ship of its time, but uh, still not that big in overall. So, 48 minus one, that's 47 points. I'll start by putting seven points in everything. That'll be 42. Then we'll have five points to distribute, and then we can adjust as needed. Uh, okay. Okay, so seven and everything, that's 42 points. We've got five more to distribute. Um, let's see. I would say sensor is at least up to eight. Wow. Yep, sensors, engines, structure. Maybe computers. And we'll put a point into weapons. It is a gunboat. Yeah. So we have comms 7, computers 8, engines 8, sensors 8, structure 8, weapons 8. 
Do you think any of those need to be lower or higher? Not really. All right. So, decently well balanced. And departments. I'd say at least a point in engineering and a point in science. Not sure where that last one should go. Yeah. We could put it in... We could put it into con. We could put it into security. We could put it into con, we could put it into security, or we could bring science up to two. Or even medicine. I have no freaking idea. Yeah. We'll put it into engineering for now. This is going to be something of a logistical ship. So, talents. Let me check what the uh, NX had for talents, and then we can maybe work from there. Let's see. The NX... The NX just had the basic ability, the ability modifier traits of its time, grappler cables, and polarized hull plating. Obviously, we don't need those. Um, no, we do not. So, let's see. Um... I would say high resolution sensors. Probably. High resolution sensors. And we might just leave it at that. Give player. Give players and GMs a little extra room, a little extra room to play with. You'll have a profile talent, of course, and you'll have a free talent. At their own recognizance. Yeah. Now for weapons. Phaser banks, definitely. And photon torpedoes. Doesn't look like it has cannons. It does seem to have the ports, though. Hmm. Those big emitters and the, uh. front. Though I would right. refer to those as heavy pulse banks. Because, well, the only. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll just say it has phaser banks and phaser can uh, phaser banks and photon torpedoes. Again, trait on recognizance. Yep, trait Federation starship, and I can't think I can't think of any special rules to give it. <laughs> Historical upgrade. Well, that would be be a decent trait. His historical upgrade. Yeah, someone took the concept of the NX and modernized it. <laughs> at least at the time. But yeah, that is the Columbia.
a very nice version of the NX design. Could do with less <clears throat> bulky pylons. You don't yeah. need them. Yeah. But apart from that, it is decent. And one part could be easily kitbashed onto the Georgiou to upgrade it. Yes, it could. If Cryptic were to think of that. Which they won't. Yep. Link will be in the description. Bye. Yep.